what does your crystal ball say about the foreclosure market? Where do you see it today? Where do you see it going in the near future and say over the next few months or a year, or a couple of years? Yeah. I mean, first of all, I wish I had a crystal ball. I mean, that would be pretty handy because where we are now is not where I thought we were going to be nine months ago or 12 months ago. Um, so where, where auctions are at the minute, and I'm talking about, you know, Florida auctions, Florida is a judicial state. So the foreclosure process moves quite slowly. And the, you know, inventory levels in the foreclosure auctions are a small percentage of what they used to be, maybe 5% of the available properties at auction compared to about two years ago. And then, you know, the best time to be buying foreclosure auctions in Florida anyway, was maybe back in 2012 or 2013, when about 40% of all real estate transactions were some kind of distress, whether that was a short sale or an REO or a foreclosure, there literally was and just to give you an example, in one little county in Tampa that I specialize in called Pasco County, you know, you generally might have about 260 properties a month back in the good old days. And then when you fast forward to kind of 2018, 2019, you know, you're probably looking at 80 auctions a week, you know, something like 70 or 80 auctions a week. So only about 25% of what it was at the peak. And nowadays, Jay, I mean, it's, it's literally about 10 auctions a week in Pasco County. So just like a couple per day. So it's really slow to an absolute trickle. I mean, sometimes you might read misleading headlines in, in CNBC or some of the you know, real estate places where they might say, you know, foreclosure auctions in Florida have shot up, you know, 50%. And what's really happened is they've gone from having like four per week to 10 per week. And that sounds dramatic percentage wise, but when you really compare to where we were, compared to the amount of foreclosures in a normal market, where you don't have all of these, you know, foreclosure moratoriums and everything else, um, we're, we're nowhere near where we used to be. I mean, it's just slow to a trickle. And in terms of where it's going to go, I mean, for sure, we're going to see more foreclosure opportunities, more opportunities to invest in foreclosure properties, because it has been a fantastic source of inventory for my business over the last six years in particular. And it will increase from today's very, very low levels because the, you know, the government is artificially holding that volume down with the amount of, of foreclosure moratoriums, people can literally postpone their mortgage payments for one, two years. Whereas before, you know, nine, nine months after stopping your mortgage, you're, you're going to be listed in a foreclosure auction in Florida. And that's the opposite as has happened now. And when you have unemployment, you know, rising as sharply as it did in the last year, obviously the recovery has been pretty impressive, but the amount of people out of work now compared to a year and a half ago is still dramatically different. You're talking about millions and millions of households that's the biggest predictor of mortgage defaults. So you are going to see an increase in foreclosures for sure. Um, I don't necessarily think it's going to be a tsunami of them. I don't necessarily think you're going to see massive price drops like we saw 10 years ago, because there are a bunch of things that are different now. Yeah, I agree. Um, so how quickly or slow do you think it's going to move from now? Or do you ha even have a guess? I mean, I see it seeing art. I mean, the inventory at the minute is as low as it's ever been. I mean, it's literally lower now than it was even four or five months ago. So I can see that continuing for, for much of this year. And then I'm, I'm hoping um, that, and I'm talking to some people, some foreclosure attorneys, you know, people that are more familiar with the backlogs that are in the courts here. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to start, um, you know, increasing in, in Q4 uh, 2021 and Q2 2022. So I think really next year, is when you're going to see that increase in inventory. And uh, to be honest with you, I think the market is able to absorb a pretty big in increase in inventory because it is so low at the minute. I mean, we're at you know a couple of months worth of inventory and, and there's certainly um, demand for, for, for much more. And when you have that amount of, of kind of pent up demand, um, you, you have to figure that prices should hold pretty steady. So my ideal scenario, Jay, is having loads more foreclosures that are available for me to buy uh, and I'm able to sell them a top dollar afterwards.